Hello. Today we are starting. Uh, last day also we discussed. We have started this MSK. Again, I am starting because some of you told that it was not audible through that uh, that app. Maybe. <clears throat> so, for any doubt, you ask through the chat. Okay, we are starting now. Uh, MSK is nothing but I told you it comes from FSK. Okay, MSK is actually coming from FSK through another digital modulation technique name, which is continuous phase FSK, continuous phase frequency shifting key, shift key. Okay, now. As I told that it's totally based on your some some derivations only there. So for just to understand this derivation, for for this uh, BFSK or FSK same thing binary uh, frequency or only frequency shifting. Two different frequencies are there for binary, and these two frequencies are one is the higher frequency, one is the lower frequency. So FC plus one term, FC minus one term. And some frequency gap, we know this minus this one. Same way, in the case of CPFSK, one term here introduced that is H. H is nothing but deviation ratio, which is considered as half, one by two, for MSK. Now, F1 and F2, it is now FC minus this term and FC plus this term, H by uh, two into TB. Here also we are finding out that f2 minus f1 that is the frequency gap or frequency separation or frequency deviation all are same thing now this difference is nothing but your h by tb h is half so we we can write down it as 1 by tb divided by 2 so we can see from these two things that in the case of fsk frequency gap is 1 by tb but in the case of cpfsk frequency gap is half of this half of 1 tb so this is known as when the value of h is 1 by 2 then that fsk or cpfsk is known as minimum shift king or msk minimum shift king or msk minimum shift king or msk or fast fsk why fast fsk because frequency gap is less fast fsk or continuous phase shift phase frequency shift king all are same king sometimes in the exam msk they are asking sometimes in the exam they are cpfsk also they may ask okay so bfsk or fsk is both are same and these are same important now now the standard expression for cpfsk the standard expression of cpfsk is this one we know that in the case of fsk only fsk the expression will be up to this but in the case of continuous phase when it is added phase when phase is added that time you have to add some phase also so that phase is denoted by theta p theta t so theta p it is the phase function and it's having some value at a particular time of t that t may be your minus tb plus tb 0 2 tb whatever okay and definitely this value depends on the previous phase angle value this value depends on the previous phase angle value okay with some relation some relation is that this is the relation where theta t is equals to theta 0 plus minus some value okay so this is the phase angle at time t this is the phase angle at time 0 okay and plus minus some term so plus is nothing but for digit one 
minus is nothing but four digit zero. Now thus just rearranging we are that equation. After that we put the value T B instead of T in this equation. So just T replaced by T B. Here also T replaced by T B. So finally we are getting plus minus pi by two, which is a phase angle difference between this between this one and between these two that means that means theta zero and theta t b between these two the phase angle difference is plus minus pi by two so plus again i am telling plus means one minus means it is zero okay whenever phase angle is increased by pi by two that means one is transmitting whenever phase angle is decreased by pi by 2 that means zero is transmitting this is very important everywhere now now everywhere in the msk we have to discuss remember that one means plus pi by 2 and zero means minus pi by 2 that pi by 2 is nothing but the phase angle and whenever plus pi by 2 that means zero is sorry one is transmitting whenever minus pi by 2 that means zero is transmitting Now, this expression, this one, this one, pi h t v t, this one we are taking here. This expression, plus minus this term. Now, you put the value h as half because of MSK. because of MSK and now the thing this will be like this reduced to like this then T if the T is even multiple of TB that means 0 2 TB 4 TB 6 TB like this then you put the value of T small small T value here okay so for 0 the whole thing will be 0 for 2 TB it will be your pi that is plus minus pi for 4 tb it will be your 2 pi so 2 pi means again it will be zero last day also i told that the phase angle you have to show in this way plus pi minus plus minus pi actually then pi by 2 here yeah, it will be minus pi by 2 in that way okay so whenever t is an even multiple of tb then we are getting either 0 or plus minus pi by putting the value of t in this place that's all similarly similarly when the value of t is the odd multiple of tb that means 1 into tb 3 into 5 into tb that means these values of t that means these values if we are putting in the same equation here then we will have plus minus pi by 2 you can check it you can verify this plus minus pi by 2 plus minus pi by 2 okay 3 pi by 2 means somewhere here somewhere on this line okay so what i mean to say whenever small t is a even multiple of tb then the phase angle value will be your zero or plus pi by 2 or minus pi by 2 this line whenever small t is the odd multiple of tb then phase angle value will be your plus minus pi by 2 that means y axis this one okay up to this so up to this we have got important two important thing one is whenever 
one digit one that means plus pi by two is the phase phase angle whenever digit uh, zero that means minus pi by two is the phase angle that is important one information next information is that if the value of small t is a even multiple of tb then the phase angle will be zero and plus minus pi and if the small t is a odd multiple of tb then the value of phase angle will be pi by plus minus pi by 2 so <clears throat> these two important information we got till now and this information will be used in the consequent section now suppose this kind of some numeric numerical is given there this is given suppose in the exam and the given sequence is this one and the given things that at time zero <coughs> theta theta zero is zero that is phase angle and h you have to consider as half for instance now what what phase angles we have zero plus minus pi by two plus minus pi so that you write mention on this axis on the y axis and time we mention on this x axis then whenever t is zero theta zero is zero this zero is the first value okay then we have one follow this line then we have follow this bit we have one this one one means plus pi by two that means from the previous it will be this point that is the plus pi by two again you have you see here one is given again plus pi by two so it will be this point this also plus plus pi by two that means this will be your pi again something zero is there that means minus pi by two so minus pi by two from this value so it will be coming down this one again you see plus one means plus that means again it is going up to this again minus zero is minus from zero for, for zero minus pi by two so from here pi minus pi by two again zero so again it is minus so pi pi by two here it is pi by two phase angle minus pi by two that means zero phase angle is so it is here again zero so again from here minus pi by two so again it is going up to this at this minus pi by two it is coming here. in that way you are getting some <coughs> waveform type of things so this is known as phase trellis or kind of phasor diagram this kind this kind of in circuit theory option you read something that is phasor diagram so it's kind of kind of that thing so it is named as phase trellis important term phase trellis in the exam given things will be your some sequence and two conditions Okay, you just add plus pi by two minus pi by two. Plus pi by two when whenever one is there, bit in the given sequence whenever one is present, that means plus pi by two. Whenever zero is there, minus pi by two. From the previous one. So <clears throat> this way you have to do it. This is phase trellis. One more example is given here, you check it out. Now, important thing that is the constellation diagram or single space diagram. From where we are <coughs> able to calculate that uh, probability of error for any modulation of theme. This also I, I think I have discussed last time. Now see, um, some expression standard expression we know this one xt is this one so up to this i told that for fsk whenever angle is introduced that means your cpfsk or msk msk when when h value is half so we will consider for the whole case for whole derivation the value of h as one by two now cos of a plus b simple very simple these things we are doing cos cos minus sine sine 
first part, this thing, we are considering as XIT. Second part, we are considering as XQT. Now, we are starting with XIT. So XIT is what? Up, uh, this term, then cos, this one. So, this term we are taking here. We are writing. This means what? Theta t means what? Theta t means it is there. You see, theta t means theta zero plus minus this term. It is already discussed. We have discussed. Mm. Yeah. Theta t means this expression. Theta t equals to theta 0 plus this value. That is the thing we are using here also. This one. Each value is half, that is why this 2 is coming. Okay, and again cos of a plus b, that, that formula we are using. Cos cos minus sin sin. Trigonometric identities we have used for this for all the for whole derivation. Okay. After that, what we will do? We are going to put theta zero as zero, theta zero as pi. So whenever theta zero is zero, that time this term will be zero. Whenever pi, this term will be zero. Because finally, this term will not be present, will not be there. And only this term is coming. For theta 0, 0, it will be 1. That is plus 1. That means this is coming. And theta 0 is pi. That means minus 1. That is why this one is coming. So together, we can write this expression. That plus minus a root of uh, 2 EB divided by TB cos term, this term, plus minus this whole thing. Which is nothing but your now xit. Xit is this. So from here, we have reduced the equation in this way up to this. That is the expression of xit. Here you have to remember we will use that whenever cos is there, this term is giving you this plus and minus. So this you remember. This you have to use in the next section okay this cos is giving you this plus and this minus okay by by choosing the value of theta as 0 and pi okay that means we are we are taking this this is 0 this is your pi okay up to this we have derived this one xit next xqt is there now xqt this one theta t same expression we are using theta t theta 0 plus minus this term now consider t as tb just to put the values of that one that uh, t tb Rearranging this the equation, we are getting this one. This, we are taking this side and okay, rearranging this one. Now put <coughs> the value of theta 0 in this equation. Okay, so something theta t we are getting, theta t is now this one. Now, what, is, what about this xqt? xqt is this one. Put the value of theta t. Very simple derivation. We are putting this one. Sine of a plus b. Okay. This term is considered as a. This term is considered as a. And this term is as b. <clears throat> so sine of a plus b. Sine cos plus cos and sine. We are getting. Now we have this one. 
after that two terms are there one is term one important term this one and the cos of some term is there just to write down term one is this one okay class uh, will continue okay after 10 minutes also <coughs> cos just to separate out this thing using trigonometric identity where cos 90 degree means zero that means only we will have this term that means this is one so we have only only this one cos term similarly term two if you are taking term two then we have this one term two means cos of a plus b so we are writing this one okay here also same same thing cos 90 degree pi so it will be zero so only we have this term sine term sine term and right that means what that means the, this term one is reduced to this and term two is reduced to this that's all so what we are going to do that we will just replace this one and this one by cos term and sine term then xqt will be your xqt is now now your cos term sine term just we are placing this one here this one here Now we got up to this. <clears throat> now what we are doing, see, we have considered that T is equal is equals to T B. So T B is nothing but the odd multiple of that means T is the odd multiple of T B. Small T is the odd multiple of T B. So what we know in the previous discussion that T is odd multiple of T B. That means plus minus pi by two. Whenever even multi multiply of TB, that times zero and pi we got, or zero zero and plus minus pi. But whenever small t is a odd multiple of TB, that time we have, we got it that plus minus phase angle will be plus minus pi by two. So that is the, that that is why we are writing this one here. Okay, now this plus minus pi by two you put at this place. Okay, so cos of plus minus pi by two means it will be zero. So this term will be zero always. Sine of pi by two plus minus will give you will give you one. And this term. So XQT again reduced to this thing, and this plus minus is coming for, uh, for whenever you are, you are going to put that sine plus pi by 2, so it will be plus 1, sine minus pi by 2 minus 1. So that is, uh, that is why this plus minus is coming. It is coming here. It is coming here. That's all. Now again, XQT is reduced to this up to this. Okay. So here, this sign term gives you this plus minus due to the different values of this theta TB as plus minus pi by two. This you remember. Okay, so this is giving you this plus minus using this value of theta t b. Similarly, here also, this will give you this plus minus by taking 0 and pi phase angle value of theta at zero. 
these two important things. So this plus minus we are getting due to this cos and that plus minus we are getting due to that sine term. Yes, this plus minus we are getting due to the sine term. This sine term. This plus minus. By considering these values. These two important things you remember for sine and for cos. We are getting different, different values. Now, just you put xqt and xit in the main equation. So xqt value is what? This one. That is the thing we have written here. You see into sine term x i t also we are we are putting this expression some cost term is there in the equation of x t okay we are going to we, we are putting the value in the equation of x t you see in the in the pdf x t was there somewhere we have started the derivation ah, here This one instead of xit instead of xqt this xt this in this equation we are putting the value of xit and xqt xit a, 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 xt is equal to your now just you put the value of xit and xqt now since some rearrangement is there this we are taking out this we are taking out root of 2 by tb some term is there cos root of 2 by tb some sine terms are there the whole thing is known as <clears throat> basis function we know this thing this whole thing is known as basis function okay phi 1t and phi 2t phi 1t and phi 2t okay now this expression we are writing in very simple way xt plus minus root of ev plus minus root of ev minus phi 1 phi 2 two. this is functions are there then interesting then root of this term ev phi 1 and this plus minus we are getting for this cos term okay now this is plus some plus we are giving minus this this minus this minus we are taking inside and due to this plus minus is coming for sine just now i told that means this plus minus is coming from for this cos and this plus minus is coming for this sine and this minus is your this minus that's all so finally we are getting something like this expression where eb root of eb term is there beat energy plus minus means x i x positive side of the axis negative side of the axis this term will give you the phase angle values phi 1 t and phi 2 these two are nothing but basis function that means this kind of something will draw better okay now now we are writing that x t is equals to uh, x1 phi1 x, uh, x2 phi2 in that way and phi1 and phi2 both are basis function and orthogonal to each other this is the property of basis function orthogonal to each other that means perpendicular or 90 degree angle between them okay that is the basis function so if we want to get back this one x1 then you have to multiply the whole expression by phi 1t okay class will continue okay within one minute again stop again have to start <laughs> 